All right, so um, after you create your uh, project, it will ask you, like, an, there'll be an auto prompt for you to um, import your solid model geometry. Um, as the little box indicates, it, you know, accepts a wide variety of formats. Um, I will say that the native format for OpenFoam, or um, it, which includes the SimScale platform, is parasolid files. So those are .x T files or .xb, depending on whether they're um, text or binary. But it does accept SolidWorks files like step files and things like that, and, and a variety of other formats. So um, go ahead and try whatever it is that you like if you're a SolidWorks person. Um, if you have an OnShape account, you can actually link your accounts um, so that you can basically do everything in the cloud. So that's an option as well. I personally use a, a geometry program called Shaper 3D to um, make my files, so mine will be in the Parasolid format, but you don't have to do that. So I'm going to import the, uh, from, for our first example, I'm going to import our spot on bowl file. Um, so that'll be, it. that's uh, loaded in our import list. You can import more than one geometry at a time if you want. Um, and I will do that now. Click import. It takes just a second for it to um, bring it in and interpret what your solid file is. So this was my file. If you want some info about like the file that it brought in, some of the useful things that are in here include, I would say the dimensions, so like the bounding box. Um, so both the length and like the minimum and maximum like X values, for example, in absolute coordinates is useful um, there yeah that's that's probably the most useful thing in here um, if you ever want to get your uh, simulate like if you want to extract a geometry from something that's in SimScale there's a download original button here that'll download your file um, you'll see that uh, there's this little button here that says edit in CAD mode now um, SimScale has some limited ability to manipulate your CAD file. It can't really draw anything new. It doesn't really have that capability, but if you click on it, it does allow you to do things like, you know, scale up your model, split your model in half, join um, some things together. Uh, what else can you do in here? Uh, so oftentimes it's useful to like draw a box around your sample. Like so, for example, like if you want to, you know, simulate not necessarily the solid that you put in, but the solid that would be around that. Sometimes you can essentially add what's called a flow bot, like an external flow bot uh, volume um, to the outside. I'll talk more about that kind of stuff when we do like computational fluid dynamics. That's much more common. I personally think that this is not a great um, editor. I try to avoid using this as much as possible. Probably, um, yeah, I'm not going to say too much more about that because I don't. I'm not going to go into it in a lot of detail. Probably the one thing that you might want to do in this program that I am not really going to use for our simulation now is to split something. So, like for example, if you're trying to exploit symmetry. So obviously this is um, a cylindrically symmetric or an axisymmetric object. So um, now like SimScale doesn't really support axisymmetric simulations, but I could, for example, try to manually exploit symmetry by cutting this thing, for example, in half, um, you know, using like along the y-axis. Let's see, and then cut it again on, I guess, the uh, x-axis. So I could like split it another time along x, right? So that uh, I'll select, you know, the volume. I could cut this thing up however I want. So now, now I have the same solid, but I I basically only have a quarter of it. So if I was going to mesh this, I would only expect to get a quarter of the number of elements doing this. So I could do that to save um, elements. Uh, I am not going to do that in this, uh, you know, thing. So if you um, if you did want to save this, I could save this as a copy. I might as well. There's no like nothing gets hurt by me saving this as a copy. So this is um, this thing that says copy of spot on bowl on the uh, 
left would be my new solid. I'll call this like a quarter bowl. Oops, nope, I didn't want to do that. But I just renamed it quarter bowl. So now the quarter bowl is up there, but if I want the original device, I could, you know, click here to get it back. Um, okay, so that's about it. When you are ready and you're happy with how your geometry is sliced up, um, you can click create simulation to choose your simulation type. I'll do that in the next video.